Hi, I'm Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you all the fragrances I wore for this week. I have an amazing combination for you and also a fragrance that I am so freaking in love with. Ah, I can't wait to share it with you. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird, wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. First of all, um, I hadn't gone out with my sister in a long, long time. Like I've been really, really busy. So we decided to go out and try on some fragrances. And um, I always make the mistake, I always think to myself, just put on one, like don't put on more than one fragrance, put on one fragrance and then you're good to go. I have no self-control and so in the end I ended up putting on five fragrances. So usually I go on these trips, it's like my version of a bender, so I'm not a drinker, uh, but I go and I try on, I start with, I'm gonna just try on one fragrance and then I end up trying on five and making myself sick. Like it's just inevitable. Like I always go overboard. This time was no exception. So I wanted to share with you my findings. Now the first fragrance I tried was Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. Now I was excited to try this one. It's supposed to be green and just kind of bright to me. It's a lot of bergamot and smells limey to me. Uh, but definitely you get that green feel. It was very fresh, but the cool thing about Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche is it kind of dries down to kind of a, a sweet, just ever so slightly woody fragrance. So if you're a fan of something like light blue uh, or something like that, you may really like this. It's a little bit more sophisticated, a little more long lasting. Uh, I can't wear light blue. Like I, I love the smell of it, but on me it goes weird. This fragrance didn't. This fragrance stayed nice. I don't know if I want to buy a full bottle of it though because I already have uh, Versace Versense. Uh, and they're very similar scent profile. So it's that kind of limey feel. They're both green. Um, I think that probably Chanel Chance Eau, Eau Fraiche is um, a, a superior fragrance, longer lasting. Uh, but for now, like I've got this bottle. So once I use up the uh, Versace Versense, then I would uh, consider getting a bottle of Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche because it was really, really uh, pretty, but yeah, I just don't need it. So that was the first one I tried. The next one I tried was the new LaBelle. It's got the blue bottle with kind of that colorful applique. And I think it's something like uh, LaBelle Le Fleur Terrible, something like that. So it's the blue one. For me, like there was this aquatic sense. To me, it's a, a departure from LaBelle. I prefer the original LaBelle. Haven't tried the intense version. You can't sniff it in stores. It's so crazy because we went from LaBelle to this blue one, but never did get the intense in Canada in stores. So I still haven't sniffed it. Um, the, the blue version, I actually liked it, but I don't know if I like it enough for a full bottle again. It smelt kind of aquatic with a hint of like I don't think there's coconut in it, but there was a hint of coconut, uh, just kind of watery coconut in there. Uh, it felt relaxing, but it's not really my vibe. The other thing is, is although I love the color of the blue juice in the bottle, I hate that applique. Like the applique has potential. So you see it, there's so much color on it, but it's just a freaking like fabric sticker that's been glued on there. Not like the beautiful, fabulous necklace of La Belle. So when I first saw the La Fleur Terrible bottle, I thought, oh, it's enamel. And I just imagined kind of this sculpted enamel that was on the bottle, like some gorgeous necklace. And I thought, I have to have that just for the bottle. But when I saw it was just a fabric sticker smacked on there, I'm like, come on. Like you did such an amazing job on the, the, the LaBelle bottle with those gold roses. Like it's stunning. This is subpar. Like it was just, yeah, subpar to me. So that's, I hate the bottle, hate it. Had so much potential, was so excited, but I don't like it at all. And the scent, it's just okay to me. Next fragrance was Blackberry Lily by uh, Seven Virtues. 
Now I've been trying this one quite a few times. I love uh, that Blackberry Lily combination. I like Seven Virtues. They're clean, they're ethically sourced fragrances. So if you ever check out, I'll leave the link down below, not only for the perfumes, but the actual Seven Virtues site. I believe they're Canadian and I just really appreciate the fact that they're really big on ethically sourced products. So like all their, all their fragrance components are ethically sourced uh, and nobody's getting ripped off. Like they really try to be fair. So, and their prices on their fragrances are, are quite nice. A lot of people really like their uh, wood for or their vanilla fragrance. The name is, I think it's just called Vanilla Woods. Uh, but I really like the Blackberry Lily one. The problem is, is that the longevity is really poor. So I love the Blackberry. Uh, there's a bit of an earthy floral in there. Uh, I, it smells almost as if there'd be like a vetiver. So I get a little bit of spice from it. And I really, really enjoy it. The problem is, is that the longevity is poor. And so like within an hour, um, it smells more like Bath and Body Works as far as like how potent it is. Like just really poor potency on that one, at least on my skin. So um, likely I'm going to pass on that one. If the potency of the fragrance was better, I would snap it up because I really, really do enjoy it. But yeah, when it's that poor in the longevity department, I'd just rather buy a lotion. <laughs> the last fragrance was by Comptoir Sud Pacifique. Um, and it was their Banana Vanille one. Now, when I s sprayed that one on, I was so excited because it reminded me of those banana candies when I was a kid, like those banana kind of marshmallowy soft candies. I never liked eating them, but I loved the smell of them. Like just so, so, so love the smell of them. The thing is, is that it goes on and you're enveloped in this bana banana goodness and it's so exciting. And then it slowly morphs into the only word that I have for it is it smells like stink. It smells like sour, stinky, fake banana. And it just, it was not good. So I was really disappointed in what it did on my skin. Maybe on some people it just smells like glorious, sweet banana cream pie kind of vibe. On me, it smelled like banana stink. <laughs> It, it was a, it was, it's a no, like it was not good. So I'm going to pass on that one too. So the only promising one was Chanel Chan So Fresh and I'm not getting that one right now. So that was my, uh, my experience trying on five fragrances at once. Moving on, I'll, I'll just mention this quickly, War La Belle again. Uh, it was a little too warm for it. I think I'm gonna save this one for my winter fragrances. I'm gonna actually pull it out of my uh, carousel altogether because it's just, to me, way too sweet for spring and summer. This is gonna get put away because I didn't enjoy wearing it. It was just too sweet for the weather. Next one was totally awesome to wear again. I haven't worn it since last summer and it was uh, Light Blue Love is Love by Dolce & Gabbana. This one, you get the DNA, like just that first hit of, of lemon apple. Uh, you kind of get that hit. Um, and then you start to get uh, kind of raspberry. There's whipped cream in this one. And to me, it smells a little bit like a raspberry sorbet. Uh, so I really, really enjoy it. Raspberry lemon sorbet, I think would be what I would call it. It's, it's sweet, but also balanced nicely with that tartness. I really find this one refreshing. I could smell it for about four or five hours max uh, and then it's gone, but it's just so enjoyable. I wanted to wear it just because I wanted something a little bit lighter, uh, but I am really looking forward to wearing this in the summer heat, if we ever get heat. Like we got one day that got up to 24 Celsius. Other than that, it's cold and gloomy seemingly all the time. So I'm hoping we get some actual sunny, happy weather soon. This one made me feel sunny and happy. So next one is a layering combination and it is Belize Tropical Cabana by Bath and Body Works. This one has banana daiquiri, juicy pineapple and golden sands. This to me smells, um, it smells like banana pudding with some uh, pineapple, like crushed pineapple in there. Uh, and then almost like a graham wafer crust. 
that's what I get out of this, the Golden Sand Snow Light Graham Wafer to me. I just find this so delicious and addicting. Uh, very kind of cozy, but tropical at the same time. Love it. Very sweet. I paired it with Girl of Now Shine by Ellie Saab and even like the the aesthetic of the two of them together like they just belong together so um, this one has pistachio um, almond orange blossom pineapple so this smells a little bit like a pineapple upside down cake it's got the warmth of those nuts but there's just a little hint of juiciness mm, it makes my mouth water from the pineapple so this combination it smells like this delicious uh, pineapple banana custard with graham wafer crust, maybe a little bit of almond thrown in and some pistachios sprinkled on top. Love this combo. Smells amazing. Lasts all day. I just love it. I saved the best for last and it is this new fragrance from Kais Perfumery. It's an indie house in uh, the U.S. and it's called Zucchero Filato. I'm probably butchering the name but this is basically red berries and cotton candy. I didn't think that I would love something like this so much. I put it on my hand and went about my business. First of all, the projection was amazing. So it was just a spray on my hand, could smell it. Well, I loved this thing. I doused myself in it. It's potent. It lasts a long time. Uh, it, it's sweet but it's paired with red berries, so it doesn't get too cloying uh, because of the red berries. And then it, when it dries down, it, kind of in the deep dry down, it feels almost like there's some sort of vetiver in there. Like it gets a little bit, there's a hint of spicy, I don't know, just a little quality that adds a bit of depth. It's not listed in the notes, but that's what it does on my skin. I love this fragrance. I loved it so much, like, oh, and it's so long lasting. So I put this on, uh, went about my business, like put it on around six o'clock at night. The next morning, I could still smell it so strong on my skin. Like I couldn't believe uh, how much was left. So I'm in love with this. Uh, now I was so excited about this fragrance and it's, it's crazy sweet. Like this is the sweetest perfume that I would have in my collection. Like, so yeah, I've got a sweet video coming up. I didn't include this because I don't have a full bottle, but oh my goodness, this is so sweet. This is what pink sugar should have been. Uh, this isn't a spun sugar brown, you know, caramelized sugar at all, but I find pink sugar to be like a little bit sharp, cloying, headache inducing. This is smooth and sweet cotton candy. Uh, with a hit of red berries. This would be amazing layered with Wonderland Peony. Like it would, it would be just, I, I can't wait to try it actually. I'm going to try it soon. I, I like loved it. So I went on the Kais site. It could be Kies. I'm not sure. I ordered some samples. I ordered a full bottle of a different fragrance. I didn't buy that, this one because I had just tried it like that the night before. And I thought, well, I've got a sample. Well, I actually emailed them and said, hey, can I buy it? And you put it in with my order because this is so freaking good. Like I, I'm kind of addicted. So uh, what I found is I, re I do really like sweet fragrances. I thought I was just not a gourmand fan. The key is I'm not a huge fan of vanilla or caramel, but other gourmands really love. I really love Lyra. I'm not sure I'd want a full bottle of that one because it's pretty thick and dense. But something like this cotton candy, just amazing. So if you like Cloud by Bath and Body Works, I think it's called Cloud or Clouds. Um, if you like that fragrance, you would love this uh, Zucchero Filato. The price is really affordable. For 30 mil, it's 39 US, uh, but you can get samples for like, I think as low as 375 up to 1295 or something like that. But anyway, so, so impressed. Can't wait to share with you my findings when they come in. I think they take a while to come in, but I'm so pumped. And yeah, we'll see. I, I It, it kind of put me into a deep dive into indie perfume brands. So checked out Ganache fragrances as well. And I really, I was going to buy a bunch of samples, but my samples came to like $27.95. And then the shipping was $29.95. So the shipping was going to be more than the fragrances. So I thought I'm going to hold off on that. 
uh, shipping to Canada from the uh, Kais site is $10. So to me, that's really affordable. So yeah, I'm so excited. Have you tried this fragrance? Do you like cotton candy fragrances? I'm, I'm in love with this, like in love with it. So anyway, all in all, my standouts were definitely this combo, which is just heavenly and this cotton candy fragrance in love. So everything will be linked down below. What was your highlight? I would love to know. And have you checked out Kais Perfumery? I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, uh, but have you checked it out? If so, what are your favorites? I would love to know. And if there are other indie brands that you think are amazing, please let me know about them because I would love to try them. And other than that, that's it. Have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.